Good evening. A good Friday evening from Xfinity Center in College Park. Maryland falls to Purdue 80 to 75. Bruce, what do you have? What's so good about it? Hey, this is a great place to watch this kind of game. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Intern Mason in the middle. Mate, Bruce, from the singing of whatever tonight's song was, the energy was up. We almost stole the game at the end. Yeah, I. it was a point there where he put Checo in and for Fernando, and this happened and that happened. But let's be real. Tonight, Purdue was a better team, all right? Uh, the shots that we took were not great shots. We struggled to score. Doesn't happen that much at home, but it's all because of number 44, uh, Halls. Isaac, Isaac Haas, yeah. Haas, rather. He was fantastic. I, I, can't, I can't even describe it. He was great. Mason? Well, the crowd was a little bit disappointing attendance-wise. It was still loud in here. Maryland was lucky to get to the point where they even had that chance that Nickens got. To tie up the game, Cow in a four-point play, then a ridiculous three-point play. It was good while it lasted, and at the end they got the shot they wanted, but just didn't go in. Yeah, listen, 39 points for uh, Cowan and Herter, and uh, the rest of the way just wasn't much going on. Morsel certainly brings the energy. His shot's not perfect I think he yet. went 0 for 4 from 3, but he brought some energy. Yeah, Bruno Fernando looks real. Checo and Bender, not so much tonight. Uh, I think the scoreboard tonight of uh, where the points came from, it's a big story for, for both teams. Yeah, six points for Nickens, three for, uh, did Wiley have three? I don't think he had any. I don't know, but my story is that it's one point. Our foes from Purdue, what were they? They were eight of 10, they were nine of 12, they were 10 of 14. They only missed two free throws all night. Well, they prevented Maryland from getting off that hot start that Maryland can blow somebody out at home. Maryland was playing uphill the whole time. They took the lead, 44-43, and then Purdue scored 11, and it was a struggle all the way home. It just, it didn't work out, is what it seemed. Every time you inched back into it, Purdue took a big leap forward. It just, it just didn't happen, what we saw, and that shot that Mello made just never came. Yeah, it, it, uh, they got to four, they got to two, they got to three, they got so close but could never make, but I think it was more they could not make the stop. They could not make the key well, stop. Haas, uh, we have several guys and we'll go to the scoreboard right after this. This is the Viner Consulting, Viner Four Gates post game show here in College Park. Maryland Falls, it's 80-75. We'll be back in a moment. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Back on the Florida Xfinity Center. Uh, you're looking at the Purdue side. You said they were a little bit better almost across the board all night. They end up shooting almost 51%, 9 of 20 beyond the arc. 17 and 19 from the free throw line. They had 34 rebounds and 17 assists on 27 made field goals. For Maryland, 20. That's a key stat right there. Jackson, one of eight, but overall 22 of 63, about 35%. 10 of 28, about 35%. They get 12 assists on 22 made baskets, 37 rebounds. So Maryland. Now, I would have told you we out rebound. Purdue tonight. Yeah, you think it would be one of the reason was is they shot so well. Yeah, but the other thing, the turnovers, they only had seven turnovers tonight. It shows you numbers numbers don't mean anything. They don't mean anything, they but you don't. take a look at a couple players from the boilers. Dakota Mathias was on fire early, seven of ten. Hosko's ten of thirteen. Edwards five of eleven. 
they really play. have a couple guys that really play well. You think Purdue's a top 20 team? Without question, after beating Louisville and beating, the, and beating Maryland tonight on the road, they're probably 15 or 16. I think they've taken it to heart that they lost that game to Western Kentucky down in the Bahamas, and they picked it up, and they showed why they were ranked so high to begin the season. Isaac Haas is just... He's a 7-3 center that can score. He's a beast. And that's why there was 35 scouts here tonight. Or 25. 25 NBA teams were here tonight to see Isaac Haas. Now you know why his stock keeps rising. You can't coach 7'3". You can't make a guy 7'3". He's got it. He's a, he's a big guy. That's yeah. not a, your normal 7'2". What did you think of Herder who sort of started off the way he ended the Syracuse game? Yeah, no, I know. I, he was hot. He had a good game, 19 points. I don't know what he shot, but it was probably pretty good. And uh, Maryland's just down the wire. They just put up some very, very weak shots. A couple of them went in. What was Herder? Four of seven from three and five of nine from the field. Well, that's strong. They, they maybe got he didn't it. shoot they enough. Got to give him more shots. Yeah, but they were all over him. They really were. Look, I said to Wayne midway through the game, I said they're a little bit better at us at guard, probably a little bit better at forward or equal, and at center, there's no comparison right now. You know, there was no – and 32, though he didn't score, brought in good relief. He mixed it up the middle. Fouled every time the guy had an easy shot, and uh, we lost. What are you going to do? That's three out of four. That's what bothers me. So, Mason, after your historic turn on the postgame show after Penn State, several people texting me, are you off the ledge yet? Well, you watched yourself. Do you, do you still feel as bad about that game from Saturday as you, you showed? Not? A week later, still as bad. Yeah. It's going to be as bad until September next year. Yeah, well, that's what I said. The only thing you talk about now is September 1 against Texas on Labor Day weekend at uh, RF with uh, FedEx, Field. FedEx Field. And speaking of FedEx Field, what happened to the Skins last night? Big they didn't show. Big prediction by me. I said they were going to get blown out on Wednesday. Uh, Dallas just is, wasn't going to get beat that much. But 5-7 and seven on that team. That's unbelievable. Did you catch uh, Chick, Chick Hernandez and the guys after the game? No, but I saw them the morning after. They were brutal. Brutal. And the Redskins, they deserve to be looked at as brutal. They never win that game. They've now had a game like that or similar to that two years in a row, and they've lost both of them. You had to win that the game. All right, let me give you an update. Sports Maven will not be on tomorrow. It will be on at Sunday at 10 o'clock when we will review this game if we, as if we have to do it anymore. But we also will look at who we believe the Final Four uh, are there. And Mason will be either be there or live or on the phone. We'll uh, take a look at the Final Four and our predictions. But uh, that's it. And, of course, we'll preview the Ravens game on In the Nest on the uh, big game for the Ravens. The Ravens now look like Good chance to be playoff bound. Defense is unbelievable. Offense is still pathetic. But, uh, well, it is. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's just not good. All right, Mason, take us off. Well, this has been the Terp Talk postgame show presented by Viner Forgates. Terps lose 80-75 to to Purdue. Go Terps, go Ravens, go Skins. All right, have a good <laughs> And go home. Go home, that's right. Because you don't even know. I